Hello, welcome to Not Dead Yet's uh, weekly film chat. I'm Dan. I'm Lee. Hi. Uh, we're just going to have a quick chat about what we've been watching this week. So, Lee, anything good? Um, I watched a film called Mama. Mama? M-A-M-E. Okay. Produced by Guillermo del Toro. Okay. Del Toro. Yeah. Uh, not directed, just produced. Um, story about a... Okay, so I think from where it starts... The mum, say, so so his mum and dad, two kids. I think the mum has died. Mm. The dad seems to go off the rails. Yeah. Uh, tries. To, he, he's driving fast in his car. I think he's trying to crash. I think you know, and he's just obviously all over the place emotionally. Mm. So it's quite a film that starts with a bang, if you yeah. like. Uh, and he drives the um, kids in crashes. The car spins into the woods and um, ends up uh, putting a gun to the kid's head. Um, like, like you know, like I don't know. I, a three-year-old and a six-year-old right. sort of thing. Um, he's crying. He's obviously yeah, mental. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so he goes to pull the trigger and then you get the impression he's going to kill them, kill himself. And as he goes to pull the trigger, this ghostly apparition comes and grabs him right. and kills him. Okay. And the kid, two kids like grow up in the, just them two, in this cab, the cabin in the, in the woods. On their own? On their own. Okay. So they're quite feral. Yeah. Quite feral. And the, the brother... So the uncle mm. is on this search to find them. Okay. You know, like, he, he doesn't give up. It's like seven years later yeah, sort yeah. of thing. Seven years later, um, th- these people he's hired end up finding them in the woods and they're like, they're cool, like they're kind of crawling on their okay, fours right. yeah, and yeah. like really like erratic. So anyway, so he like wants to take them, he goes to court, gets to custody. Um, and so it's like bringing these kids into his, his life and tries to nurture them a little mm. bit. Um, so what, one's 13, one's uh, seven maybe. Mm. Uh, and, or, or whatever, about that sort of age, yeah. 10, yeah. Um, so he, but it, they come with this ghostly apparition. Okay. Um, that protects them. And what it seems to be, every time someone tries to look after the kids, the, the ghost gets jealous okay. and kills them. Right. So it's Guessing that, it's the mother. From no. the title. No, it's not. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, but they call they call this ghost mama. Yeah. Um, and that comes with a story. You'll find out about the ghost's past. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, that sounds quite she, interesting. She lost her child as a kid. No, she lost. No, she jumped in a river right. with her child because someone was trying to take it off of her. Okay. Um, but the child got caught on a, uh, like a, a branch right. as she fell into the water. So she, Joe, so she never had yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. So she's basically come across these kids and, and you know, nur- not nurtured them, but like she's mm, there yeah, overlooking yeah, for them. Yeah. So it's basically it's this, the guy and, the, and so the uncle's got a girlfriend and they're living together and uh, it's them trying to bring the kids up but with all this sort of yeah, yeah. dark, crazy stuff happening. I mean, I don't think it got great reviews. It's okay. It's yeah. not my blood. But it stars a couple of people. Um, the, uh, the the little girl, Megan Sharpenter, has been in like quite a few, she was in Resident Evil, so she's seen okay. to be like a little horror kid. Right. Um, and the guy, Nicola, Nicola, Nicolai Costa Wong, and he's in uh, yes. Game of Thrones. <laughs> James Lannister. Jamie. Jamie Lannister. Yeah. Uh, and also uh, the, the girl, uh, Jessica, some kind of, I can't remember writing. Chastain. Chastain. Yeah. She is in Interstellar and she is in Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. Um, it doesn't, it isn't like, I thought Guillermo de Toro directed it, which would have maybe, that's what made me watch it. Mm. Um, but he didn't. But it's still like, you know, got like his kind of, you can see that he's involved there. Yeah. Um, also, I started watching the Netflix series called Residue. Uh, oh, right. It's British. Uh, set in so basically there's a bomb that goes off in New Year's in this town like mm. it's a city uh, and it's all English actors yeah um, well British actors and um, it the bomb goes off in a, in a uh, nightclub yeah it's above a, like a nuclear plant okay so it becomes a quarantine area mm-hmm. and the story relates around a photographer a woman photographer who she was also in Game of Thrones mm-hmm. uh, her name is Natalia Tena she was in Black Mirror. She's been in Harry Potter. She was Osha. Oh, friends. yeah. That's, um, yeah, yeah. No, that's um, Nymphadora Tonks in Harry Potter. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's her. Yeah. She's and also in About a Boy. Yeah, she's a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 gets him into hip-hop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Mr. Cal. Yeah. Mr. yeah. yeah. Um, and also stars uh, another guy uh, from Game of Thrones who plays Ramsey Bolton. Oh, right. Okay. He's in it. Yeah. Uh, has her... Boyfriend. Okay. Oh, okay so he, cool. he works. He's, he does PR for the Home Office. Yeah. And basically, this quarantine area, and she takes pictures of people like as an art sort of thing, mm. and she starts noticing that pe- these people are dying mm. uh, in her pictures, and she sees like a ghost apparition behind them. Okay. And 
ends up being you know I've only watched two episodes mm. um, and he's a PR so he's basically going like no everything's fine in the quarantine area and she's going look at these pictures yeah every time I like these people are dying yeah and what happens this black residue is on the wall okay and it kind of makes and as it comes out of the wall and goes into their system you see like the veins kind of pump right okay They're, like black and their eyes go black and then they go back to normal and then they end up killing themselves. Uh, is it good? I think it's okay. I'm interested to see, you know, I've only watched two episodes, but yeah. I'll probably give it four or five. Yeah. And if I'm not into it by then, I won't. Okay. But it seems to be good. It's quite relatively part fast paced. Okay, cool. Um, I think it's not something that's going to blow you away. I yeah. think it's it's good. It's, it's good watching, you know, like if you just want to watch something a bit yeah. slightly paranormal. See, And it's British as well. Not too many of these sorts. Yeah, no, that's true. Dark, yeah. you know, dark dramas yeah. that are on, you know, they've got like this... HBO type thing mm. um, I, I think it's worth checking out I don't know how many episodes there are okay. but I think it's worth checking out um, and also what I've watched is that you were saying is Daredevil yeah I watched the first couple of episodes last night and what did you think yeah, yeah it's rubbish I've, I, I've watched them all but the last episode and right. I'm not that bothered no I, I just last episode. thought it was pretty rubbish really. well it goes on like he takes him he basically doesn't become Daredevil until right at the end right okay enough spoilers yeah. or whatever um, but like, there was a bit though where like I thought this is hilarious mm. where he so he's blind um, not losing his sight as a kid I mean yeah. I don't read the comics so I don't know no. but anyway he's blind obviously it's, uh, one knows that but he is in a warehouse right and he's got this super hearing obviously mm. um, so he's in a warehouse and he's on the phone to someone and he needs to that's it strap up someone that's shot mm. and, he, and he listens and he went there's some duck there's some masking tape in here <laughs> and there's some wood and I was like you've got to be joking how the hell yeah. can you hear that there's mask and tape in a toolbox yeah. in a warehouse well it's like sonar isn't it before? yeah and I was just like what made me laugh I, obviously I've only watched two episodes and what made me laugh was that he kept doing this thing where he did these like awesome kicks on people mm. that wound up with him on the floor yeah and if you, I don't know much about fighting. I've had very few fights, but what I do understand about fighting is that being on the floor is very bad. Yeah. Very, very bad if you're in a fight. Yeah. And he intentionally puts himself on the floor. Yeah. By doing these like spinning kicks that I, wound wind up with him lying on his back, and I'm yeah. just like, that's not very clever, is it? It surely? gets like more dramatic and theatrical, right. and, like bit matrixy and. I, I just silly. I just thought it was. Ugh, I'm not interested really. I might watch a bit more if there's nothing else, but there's lots of other things that like, I might watch. So the, the, you get the character, the baddie guy. You kind of comes into it a little bit more. Yeah, I think um, I might watch it until because that's Vincent D'Onofrio and he's brilliant. Um, he's in everything. Like, and then you've got like so you you would have seen the guy with the glasses that's the assistant the worst. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's got this. I mean, it's so clearly like. I mean, I'm not a big. I don't analyze stuff, but like, you can tell that they say his character is totally taken from Agent Smith from Matrix. Okay. As right. it goes along, he's just gonna yes, Mrs. Right. right so okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Takes his glasses off. Yeah. Just, it's, it's. Yeah, you know, it, it indebted, seems very indebted. formulaic. Yeah. If you like, if you really like superhero stuff, I think just watch it. You may enjoy it. Yeah, it, it it's looks fun, like silly. Yeah, it's silly, silly shit. Really. You get a good relationship between you. You know, you see the relationship between the two mates, the, the lawyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's. Kind of that, that kind yeah. of comes with a bit of conflict and yeah. stuff, and the girl, and you know, it just it just seemed a bit rubbish to me though. Like I'm, I don't really care. It's where do you know what's getting to the point where I think superheroes is just just like I think it's going to be all fizzled out soon because like you can't keep doing these superhero films; they're just going to get a little bit more boring as you go along. Do you not think? No, do you not, you know? I think that just keeps going. Do you think because obviously Avengers, you said the new film wasn't that good? And I'm yeah, thinking, but I'm in the minority on that. I oh, think really? a lot of people loved it. Yeah. It's breaking all the box office records. And, yeah. So yeah, I I don't see that fizzling out anytime soon, and that's I I will continue to keep watching them because every now and then something's really good. Yeah, and I like I do like that stuff, but this just didn't really interest me. I don't know much about Daredevil. I've never been particularly interested yeah. in Daredevil. I know the film Ben Affleck was terrible, which is awful. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah but this just didn't make me feel. Uh, I just what, thought, well, whatever. what do you think about Ben Affleck as a uh, Batman? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's I'm, like, not, I'm not sure. It's like having Val Kim with George Clooney as Batman. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't yeah. fill you with like no excitement. No, but then you wouldn't ordinarily pick Michael Keaton to be Batman, and he's awesome. So yeah, but that was when he was doing dark stuff as well with Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah. I guess, but Bill just too. Yeah, we'll, we'll see um, what happens with that. So this week I've finished watching Borgen completely now, which is the yeah. Danish political drama. Good. 
The third series is not as good. Right, okay. I still enjoyed it because I love the characters, but it's... The producers are obviously aware... There's one thing that they did that I really didn't enjoy, and the producers are obviously aware that it's popular in the UK. Mm. And I think as a concession to us as an audience, they inserted a character into the show that's English. Right. So there's lots of English-speaking sections wherever this character's involved. Right. And that's kind of nice of them, I guess, but I'm not watching it because I... I don't mind that it's in Danish. Does that take away the, the flow of it, though? No, not really. Um, it's it's done reasonably naturally. You know, they're not just completely wedged in. But, you know, I look at that and think, well, you've just done that because... Got marketing. Yeah, you know, basically one of the characters gets a boyfriend who's English. Right. He could have been easily Danish. It's lazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then you could have had a conversation in Danish. It just felt a little bit like... Eh. And it's a bit muddled, this series. It's not as good. I still enjoyed it, but... It's not as good. However, on on reflection, if you haven't watched Borgen, you should watch it because it's fantastic. Mm. It's still worth it. Yeah, I should check that out. For the first two series because they're, they're incredible. Um, what else have I watched this week? I watched uh, Thursday. I wasn't working. I had nothing to do. And I thought, I'm going to do lots of interesting things. I'm going to go out and do cool stuff today. And then I woke up and it was grey and rainy and I just... <sighs> Felt like doing nothing. So I did nothing and I sat on my sofa all day and watched the entire series of Better Call Saul, which is oh, right. 10 episodes. I had day well spent. Yeah, I started at about half eight, nine in the morning and finished around about six. Um, and it's fantastic. Uh, absolutely loved it. Obviously, you need to have watched Breaking Bad. Yeah. Um, well, actually, I don't even know if you do need to have watched it, but it will help. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of nods to Breaking Bad in it. Um I spoke to my sister before I started watching it. She said she watched the first three episodes and she found it really boring and she wasn't going to watch it anymore. And I thought, well, I really love that character because he's a character from the show. Yeah. Um, and I thoroughly loved it. I just wish it was longer and I want a second series now. Um, it seems to be popular. I've heard a lot, a lot about it. People it's great. I really, really it. loved it, yeah. And I love the character. I really like Bob Odenkirk anyway. He's, he's a great actor. And very funny, and and in this, you know, really kind of gets to show his sort of acting chops a bit more as well. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, really, really good. Really enjoyed that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So, shall we talk about Bloodline? Let's talk about Bloodline. Um, if you are watching Bloodline with us, stop now. Go and watch the episode. Come back, or we're going to spoil it. So, this is episode seven. Seven. Now, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, what do you think? I think um, it was just another slowish episode. So mm. it seemed to be a lot of people, from what I remember, apologising to Danny. Danny, yeah. they've, decide, they've decided they want to all cut Danny back in the will. Yeah, that's right. That, they did do that. They yeah. decided that. It was uh, John uh, has kind of like seemingly settled his guilt with Danny. Danny's gone like... So well, it, well, a lot of people... He, been from his side, yeah. he has. I don't think Danny has forgiven no, him at all. No, I think Danny... Every, There's a really weird scene where Danny's scaling a fish. That's the thing, yeah. isn't it? He apologises to Danny and says, let's go and do that yeah, fishing trip. Yeah. And Danny's scaling a fish. Yeah, and, he's going, and as he walks away, John walks away thinking that he's solved everything yeah. now. Danny just cuts the head off yeah. his fish. That's and, symbolic. Definitely. Yeah, obviously, of course that is. Yeah. Um, so it's, this is episode. A lot of people apologising. Danny, Danny going, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You know, um, there's, uh, but obviously it's not. So in the end of the last episode, Kevin, which is his younger brother, yeah, end up sleeping with. I can't remember her name. Cece, I think. Cece, which is kind of Danny's got this on off sort of thing. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. I think he has for a long time, but he was really nasty to her. Yeah, he was drunk, really, drunk, really horrible to her when he was drunk in the last episode. Yeah. Um, so they end up kind of Kevin and her, and the next day they're both like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. We shouldn't have done this. Yeah, you yeah. know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so Danny finds out. But well, Kevin he, tells him yeah. to his credit. Yeah, Kevin tells and, and yeah. And the but brother. I can't help wondering whether Kevin was needling him by doing that. I wondered that. You know, whether he was going, oh, I'm really sorry, dude. I slept with that girl that you're kind of associated with. Yeah. You know, hey, sorry about that. I couldn't help feeling that Kevin was, you know, having a little dig at him by doing that. Yeah, he's like a little brother, isn't he? It's yeah, he's his younger brother. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that seems to be a lot of it. And what, you know, as he's talking, he goes back to apologise to the girl, Cece, at the yeah. end. And he's going, oh, you know, I don't want to be this bad person. I don't want to be this, you know. So that you find the more that he was about, you know, what, what he may have done in the past. Yeah. Um, and then he says, "Oh, but I um, I want to change, and I've got to do what I've got to do." Yeah. 
And then at that same time, yeah, you're seeing Kevin, Kevin get the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, yeah. And um, by Danny's mate and CC's brother. Yeah. So do you know? Did Danny put him up to it? Because did, did that the brother did say to it like did he offered brother, to do it? Yeah. yeah and Danny and said no. Yeah. So. I don't know whether Danny did put him up to that or not. I'd guess my But more not. interesting than that, though, I think, than any of that stuff, is that Danny and his mate, I can't remember his name, have been doing that shit where they ship out that gas, petrol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. those guys say they're not doing it anymore because there's heat on them. The Coast Guard have stepped up their patrols or whatever. Yeah. Um, and Danny follows those guys to their lair. Yeah. And then tries to get work from them. Yeah. And that's pretty interesting you're right it was a slow episode but it's again a setup episode and i think we'll get payoff in the next episode for some of those yeah. things. yeah i mean i think you're struggling with it now i'm you? thinking like, that i'm a, I, we're over halfway mark now and they need to just pull the socks up and do something i think yeah. like i there's only i don't think you're going to get what you want on that no i think this is going to continue i think we'll probably get the last, last two, two episodes yeah maybe even the last last episode where all of this pays off and, and I, I believe from what i've spoken to people what i've heard it does pay off. I'm getting the impression that it's going to build and, and that happened. Last two episodes being really good and then it ending on a cliffhanger. Maybe. And I'm not like, sure. Oh, I just invested all, like 13 hours. Yeah, I don't know whether... Because I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Yeah. But I'm not sure that they are going to do that. I have a feeling... It kind of feels to me like this is an enclosed story. Yeah. So it will be one series. Yeah. I might be wrong. I, yeah. Um, but I, I don't get the sense that this is going to be something that's spun out over five series. It's not lost. Yeah. You know, I don't think they're going to do that. But we'll, we'll see. But I mean, I think that's there's some... I'm still okay with it. Um, but I spoke to some guys this week. I was working with some people yesterday. Excuse me. And they've already watched it all. Mm. But they did it in like one or two days. Yeah. Um, and I, this is what I've been saying all along yeah. is that this is definitely made for that. It's made yeah. for binge watching. And they didn't have the same experience that we've had at all. Right. Like it's more they, like frustration, I think. But that's because we're, not, we're watching Yeah, it but I think it's, weekly, it's good, yeah. though. You know, like, we are frustrated with it, but I think we're frustrated because we want to know what's going on. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's kind of good. Going back to that you were just talking about when they went back to the layup, yeah. one of the things that they said to Danny, like, um, about, uh, you know, they kind of like, oh, I want in, what are you doing? Danny says, oh, I understand you've got heat around the Coast Guard. Yeah. I, I can help you with that. Yeah, he's going to take him to his brother's yard. Yeah, so basically... I think so. So, well, no, obviously, the, the one that, and also, the, you know, the, the John, he's been sniffing around. So is he going to get John, like, oh God, yeah. lead him to, lead well, this to is, John? This, this is lead back to our flashback early on in the yeah. season, doesn't it? Where we saw flash forward, mm, flash where forward, we yeah. uh, see John dragging an apparently drowned Danny into a boat that explodes and all of this yeah. sort of stuff. So... You know, this is where that's all heading towards. Yeah. You know, and um, there's obviously the sister with a body in the car. Did, was there a body in the car? Did we actually see that? I remember I, there was something. She opened the boot. Did we actually see a body? I thought there was. I think. Oh, you're right. I, I think my brain wrong, has filled though. that in, but I don't know whether we actually saw that or not. There's a phone in there ringing, wasn't there? Yeah, she, there's a phone, and that was Danny's phone ringing yeah. her. Whether it was Danny ringing or not, we don't know. And then she opens the yeah. boot. You might be right. I think I mean, in my mind it feels actually. like there was a body there, but I don't know whether I've just filled that in. Maybe. Um, maybe. Or whether we were actually shown that or not. Um, so, yeah, I'm still okay with it. Like I say, it's frustrating watching it an episode a week, but, you know. That's what we're doing. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's so, what we're doing. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing how a lot of those things pay off next week. Um, was there anything else we missed in there? I don't think so. I think that you know he does look like he's gonna he's gonna lead. I didn't thought think of Kevin, but he looks like he's gonna lead it to Danny. Kevin's buying the docks. He wants to buy the docks. Yeah. So I, this is what I mean. I think or not, I'm not sure. I think Danny's gonna try and use that area. Yeah. To do whatever they're doing, whatever. And you know, also we saw a bit more. We found out a bit more about what looks like the people trafficking operation. Yeah. And John goes to that church. And they yeah. don't know anything about anything. And then as he's leaving, he sees that girl on the on the board is yeah. missing. So we're going to find out a bit more about what's going on there. They went and, you know, interviewed yeah. that, that guy who's out on parole. Yeah. And then after he gave them what they wanted, John says, right, tell his parole officer he's smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> nice, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think there was one other thing I was trying to think of um, that happened. Um no, it's gone. But yeah, we'll see whether the, the you know, yeah, the, it'd be interesting to see what Danny does. He's, you can see like now he's, he's, he's slowly put, oh, the money in the envelopes. Where's that going? I yeah, no, he owes someone a lot of money. Yeah. 
And he's like putting. Notes I initially in thought it was some kind of family thing. I, th- I uh, like he was paying for his kids or something like yeah, that. But yeah. now I'm starting to think that he owes a lot of money to someone. Because he keeps saying I need more money, and yeah. he got pay rise for. Well, because that's the thing. Like he's a very strange character. He behaves quite erratically. Mm. But this, most of what he's done is quite sensible. Yeah. But this really put fear into him when he knew that he wouldn't have any more of this extra money coming. Yeah. In. You know, and also he hasn't cashed any of the checks for yeah, his work yet. Exactly. He just got a pay rise, and he's put that in the glove box with all of the other paychecks. Yeah, not so he needs money, but he's not taking money from the family business. I don't know. That's yeah, it's strange. But he, I, yeah, I can't quite get that. And we haven't seen the the, the, the ghost, the sister, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah. You know, was that relevant? Was it not? I don't know. Oh, it definitely is relevant, but they're teasing us yeah. with that. Yeah, and like they, also like we don't quite know what happened with the sister on the boat yet. The, the young sister that died. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it kind of brought up again. John said, "Oh, it could have easily been me on the boat." Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's so we've kind of like it's in seven episodes. We don't quite know what's happened to her. I do think you're right. We're going to find out at the end. But I'm getting frustrated and a bit like my my uh, not patience is right. It's just kind of like do you know I'm getting I'm getting impatient with it. I think, yeah, yeah. I think, but that's that's because, because of me. Yeah, but I, it's I'm a good not, story. I'm not, I want that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not feeling so impatient about it. I'm quite I. I think this is the thing. I really enjoy things that unfold in this way, mm. in a really sort of slow, teasing fashion yeah. like that. I quite like that. So, but like I say, I would have watched this in two days. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah. Um, but we're not. So, yeah. uh, so that's it. I think we're going to be away for a couple of weeks, um, but we will. We get to watch two episodes now. Yes. Yes. Nice. I might do that tomorrow night. Um, okay, so uh, you can follow us on at Hello Not Dead Yet. Uh, Facebook hello not dead yet uh, email hello not dead yet at gmail.com uh, Instagram insta not dead yet with underscores in between the words and Spotify is hello not dead yet with underscores in between the words that's kind of like um, social network tennis that we just did yeah it was yeah, yeah. Um, okay so uh, enjoy whatever you're watching yes. let us know what you're watching let us know if there's something we should be watching and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks yeah see you later bye bye